Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can use the criteria range that you have created to also perform database functions on the data stored within a table. Database functions are much like your typical functions, such as average, sum, or product, but they will only be performed on values within rows that match a criteria that you specify. For example, if you wanted to sum an amount field, but only if the region value for the row was equal to north, you could use the database function of dsum to do that. Most of the database functions simply perform your standard mathematical operations, but only for records that match the criteria you specify. You can view the various database functions by looking at the database category of functions that is shown within the Insert Function dialog box. Note that the database category of functions is not displayed by default within the buttons of function categories shown within the function library button group on the formulas tab in the ribbon. You can, however, select a cell to insert the formula into and then click the insert function button within the function library button group on the formulas tab in the ribbon to open the insert function dialog box. Then you can select the database category from the or select a category dropdown to view the database functions available in Excel. Notice that these database functions are all strikingly similar in the structure of their syntax. Most are simply equivalent to the same mathematical function but with the letter D added to the front. For example, you use the average function to find the average of selected cells. To use the database average, the function simply becomes D average. Second, each database function only requires three arguments. Database, which is the table cell range reference. Field, which is the name of the field enclosed in double quotes, or the column number of the field that contains the values upon which you want to perform the selected function, and criteria, which is a cell reference to the criteria range, which contains the criteria used to decide the rows that will be included in the function. The criteria range is exactly the same as the criteria range that you make when creating advanced filters for your table, as we saw in the previous lessons within this chapter. So to find the sum of the amount field where the region is north, you would look for the dsum function, select it, and click the OK button to continue. For the database reference, you select the table, the field is the value field to perform the function on, in this case amount, once again enclosed in double quotes, and the criteria range contains the filter to use, in this case region equals north. Then click OK and you'll see the total amount where the region is north. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.